Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on WW Personal Points. Happy Monday, it is Monday so it is meal prep day. I am so excited for these three recipes. We have breakfast, lunch, and a dessert. And let me just tell you, spoiler alert, these are all incredible recipes. You're going to want to make every single one of them. So if you're excited, give this video a big, huge thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, because I upload lots and lots of new content every week, five videos, and Monday is always meal prep day. You will find all three of today's recipes on my website, along with all of the other recipes that I've created here on my channel. I will link that down below, along with nutrition coaching, where I offer personalized to you macro Macros and calories, I cannot recommend this enough. This is how I have lost over 123 pounds, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching if you would like to chat with me directly. Links, discounts to all of my favorite things will also be down in that description box. And last but not least, come and join our Facebook group. It is free and we would love to have you. So we have some cooking to do. We have a meal prep. Let's jump in. It's officially September, so it is officially fall in my eyes. I actually will be decorating my house here in the next few days. Stay tuned for a fall home tour. I'm actually excited to decorate our new house. This is our first fall winter holidays here. Super excited. So in honor of fall and the weather cooling off just a little bit, we are going to do a comfort food breakfast, cinnamon roll muffins. Yes, my friends, cinnamon rolls in muffin form. Let me show you what's in our recipe. First, you're going to need light butter of your choice, all-purpose flour, brown sugar alternative. For all of my sugar substitutes, I always use Lakanto. This is the Lakanto Olden, this is the Lakanto Powdered, and the Lakanto Granulated, which is their sugar substitute. I love Lakanto. For me, they taste the most like real sugar. There is no weird aftertaste like you get, that cooling effect with some substitutes. I just love, love, love them. And I will link Lakanto down below with 15% off. So we're using their Golden, their Powdered, and they're granulated. You'll need some low-fat milk, baking powder, eggs, vanilla extract, and cinnamon. So to get started on our muffins, we're going to make the cinnamon roll base. So I have two cups of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, three teaspoons of baking powder, one cup of non-fat or low-fat milk, half of a cup of Lakanto, and two eggs. With your handheld mixer, mix everything together. Then we're going to add in one half of a cup of melted light butter. And then with our handheld mixer, we're going to just mix until combined. Try not to over mix, that'll make your baked goods kind of rubbery. So here is the cinnamon roll batter. We're going to set this aside while we make the filling. Now for the cinnamon filling, I'm really excited for this part. I'm doing three quarters cup of the Lakanto Golden, an additional half of a cup of light melted butter, two tablespoons of flour. The recipe calls for a tablespoon. I'm going to probably do two because I want as much cinnamon flavor as I can get. We're going to mix that together until fully combined. And here is that yummy cinnamon filling. This looks exactly like what is spread in cinnamon rolls at Cinnabon. It's making me pretty excited. Go ahead and pull out your muffin pan, spray it with some nonstick cooking spray. First thing we're going to do is scoop the cinnamon roll mixture into 12 muffin cups. This makes 12 total. Then we're going to take that yummy cinnamon mixture and put that right on top. And then I like to take a toothpick and just kind of swirl that cinnamon into the actual muffin batter. Just kind of stir, I guess, it into the batter so that it, the cinnamon mixture is throughout the entire muffin. 
Our muffins are going into a 350 degree oven until they are cooked through. While our muffins are in the oven, we're going to make up some glaze. So I have one cup of the Lakanto powdered sugar. I'm going to add in about a half of a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then I have three tablespoons of milk. I'm going to add that in slowly because we want to have a glaze consistency. So we don't want it too thin, we don't want it too thick. So we want to slowly add in our milk to get the consistency of the glaze that we want. And that actually looks really good. And that was only about a tablespoon of the low fat milk. So that is the perfect glaze consistency. So we're going to set that aside until our muffins are out of the oven and cooled. Look at these gorgeous cinnamon roll muffins. Oh my gosh. These look so good. My house smells like Cinnabon. No lie, it smells so good in here. We need to let these cool completely before we add our glaze. So now we're going to glaze the muffins. So I went ahead and pulled out eight of the muffins out of the pan. I'll go ahead and glaze these first eight and then I will do the rest. This, these muffins, you guys, oh my gosh. They look so good. They smell so incredibly delicious. And here are the cinnamon roll muffins. Literal cinnamon roll vibes. I am so incredibly happy how these turned out. They taste really good. I did taste some of the little extra bit here in the pan. Really good cinnamon flavor, the perfect sweetness. Literally just tastes like a cinnamon roll, which is really exciting. So I will go ahead and put points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. My plan is to, of course, to pair this with some protein, whether that be turkey bacon, sausage, eggs. We'll see what I can come up with during the week, but this is going to definitely be part of this week's breakfast lunch this week staying in comfort food vibes we are making a stuffing crust pot pie this sounds so good i'm excited to try this if this is something that i really like this would make an amazing side at thanksgiving or the holidays so let me show you what's in our recipe first you're going to need a box of cornbread stuffing some chicken broth light butter Broccoli, you can use frozen or fresh. I'm using fresh just because that's what I have on hand. You'll need some turkey gravy, Italian style shredded cheese, mashed potatoes, whether you make these yourself or go the easy route like I did and buy the Bob Evans, some crispy onions, a pound of lean ground chicken or turkey, and some one third less fat cream cheese. So the first thing we need to do is cook our stuffing. So I have one and a half cups of water coming to a boil. I never use the butter that the recipe calls for. And then we'll add in the cornbread stuffing. And then in my skillet here, I'm actually going to cook up my pound of ground chicken. I'm going to go ahead and season my ground chicken with some salt and pepper. As always, I will link my gravity fed salt and pepper shakers down below. You guys are loving these as much as I am. They're so fun and so easy to use and you get fresh ground salt and pepper every time, which is way better than the stuff you buy in the container. So I have my stuffing mix here. I'm going to add a few tablespoons of chicken broth just to moisten up the stuffing a little bit before we add it to our baking dish. You'll need a six by nine, nine by nine baking dish. You really can use any medium, small or medium sized baking dish. We're going to take that stuffing and press that into the bottom of the baking dish. We're going to go ahead and pop this into a 350 degree oven for about 10 to 15 minutes or until it's lightly browned. So for the rest of the pot pie, we have our crust in the oven. I have two ounces of light cream cheese. We're going to add one half of a cup of the turkey gravy and mix that together until fully combined. Your cream cheese should be softened, so it should mix really quickly and really well. And then we're going to add in the ground turkey, ground chicken, whatever you used. Some broccoli, I'm just going to reach into my bag here and just throw in about a cup of broccoli. Give that a stir in. And then we're adding in half of a cup of that Italian shredded cheese and some salt and pepper. So I just pulled the cornbread stuffing crust out of the oven. We're going to add the turkey and broccoli mixture right on top. Spread that out nice and even over that crust. 
Over the top of the chicken broccoli mixture, we're going to do two cups of mashed potatoes. This is two and a half cups, so I'm just going to reserve a half of a cup for another meal. And then spread that out nice and even right on top. So next you can add some crispy fried onions. This is an optional addition to the casserole. I'm absolutely going to do it. I love crispy fried onions. And we want one half of a cup right on top. And then lastly, we're going to just drizzle over about two tablespoons of melted light butter. Now, if you skip the crispy onions, don't skip the butter. Just put the butter directly on top of the potatoes, but that's going to brown up the top and add that really rich buttery flavor to our pot pie. And then we're going to throw it back in our 350 degree oven until it is baked all the way through to about 20 to 25 minutes. Oh my goodness, look at this, you guys. This looks so good. You can see all the layers, the cornbread stuffing, the chicken and broccoli layer, and then it's topped with mashed potatoes and crispy onions and butter. I mean, what's better comfort food than this? So this is going to be my lunch this week. It's a great lunch. It's a protein, a carb, a healthy fat, a little bit of everything in this lunch. So I'll go ahead and put points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. Continuing on with comfort food and fall, we are making pumpkin crisp. So this is a pumpkin inspired apple crisp, so to speak, with that nice yummy brown sugar oat topping. I can't wait for this. So let me show you what's in our recipe. First, you're going to need sugar alternative. Of course, I'm using Lakanto. Don't forget, it is linked down below with 15% off site-wide. So you can pick up their cookie mixes, muffin mixes, chocolate chips, anything on their website for 15% off. You're going to need some rolled oats, all-purpose flour, brown sugar substitute, of course, mine is Lakanto, light butter, vanilla extract, fat-free evaporated milk, some eggs, cinnamon and pumpkin pie spice, and then pumpkin puree. Not pumpkin pie filling, pumpkin puree. This is the one with no added sugar. So to get started on the pumpkin crisp, I went ahead and in my big, huge measuring cup here, I have a lot of ingredients. So I have one and a half cups of flour, three quarter cup of rolled oats, half of a cup of Lakanto granulated, and then three quarters of a cup of Lakanto brown sugar. And then we're going to add in some cinnamon, and three quarters of a cup of our light butter at room temperature. And then we're going to stir to combine all of those ingredients. We're going to go ahead and set this mixture into the freezer while we start the pumpkin filling. For the pumpkin filling, we're going to add 15 ounces, which is an entire can of pumpkin puree, three quarters of a cup of Lakanto Golden, and half of a cup of Lakanto Granulated, a few tablespoons of pumpkin pie spice, about a teaspoon of vanilla extract, two eggs, and a 12 ounce can of evaporated milk. Mix all of that yummy filling together until combined. We're going to pour the pumpkin filling into a baking dish. You can do a six by nine, seven by nine, an eight by eight, really whatever baking dish that you would like. Go ahead and pour in your filling. It's going into a 375 degree oven for about 20 minutes. We want it set up around the edges. It can still be a little bit loose in the middle, but we want the edges set up. So I just pulled the pumpkin filling out of the oven. You can see that it's still kind of loose in the middle. So we're going to add our crumble topping right on top. And then this actually goes back in the oven for about 25 more minutes or until it's cooked through. The pumpkin crisp is out of the oven. This looks so incredibly delicious. It smells just like pumpkin pie. So this is going to be dessert for the week. It's really good because pumpkin is full of fiber. We have some carbs. It's going to be the perfect sweet treat. Top it with your favorite whipped cream, ice cream. I'll go ahead and put points, calories, and macros here on the screen for you.
for joining me for this week's WW Meal Prep. I hope you are as excited about these three recipes as I am. I can't wait to have these all week long. We have fall inspired comfort food. I mean, really what could be better? All of my recipes are on my website, which is linked in the description box along with nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things. And don't forget to come and join our Facebook group. We would absolutely love to have you. Thumbs up today's video if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you're not because I upload lots of new videos every week. Happy Monday, friends. I'll see you all in Wednesdays, what I eat in a day. Bye.